a good looking we'll jelly. Ten meters. <laughs> um, the bubbles, if we do encounter them, though, you'll probably most likely Another see them at the meters, top yeah, of the frame zero nine zero. versus the middle or bottom where yeah. it's kind of lighter and you just see the sediment. The bubbles really kind of stand out up there. Oh, okay, as it pop because they expand also, they may get bigger. Well, I think move. if they don't have zero something behind them zero, to help meters, obscure please. them. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's just a kind of nebulous, off in the distance, gray. The floor, and you, you may trigger ex uh, bubbles coming out, or the fluids definitely are breathing with the tides, so there's tides uh, once or twice per day, depending on where you are on Earth. <laughs> and the uh, fluids that uh, come from the seafloor are responding to the change in uh, pressure related. It's a subtle change in pressure at the surface, but it's enough apparently to kind of modulate uh, the flux of fluids. For go I googled last night uh, Santa Monica basins, Anoxia, yeah. and kaboom, it, it's pitted out. <laughs> Sorry, like, can we zoom on that? Yeah, we should. There's lots of... Hey pilots, can I get a zoom on this fish? Can we zoom on this fish? What's that? Can we zoom on this fish? Uh, sure. Uh, they want to look at the rat tail. So, uh, you got to use your tail. pan and tilt. And I don't know if that's uh, a rat tail. Uh, rat tails don't have dorsal fins oh no, like that. Uh, what is it, a grenadier? Or? No, no, it looks like a shark. shark, maybe. Okay, yep. Use your pan and tilt. Thanks. Center that up on the screen. I did and uh, Ed, Ed, now you have to tell Ed to zoom because Ed won't do anything unless you tell him to. At your awesome. command. You're in charge, Miss Jessica. Uh, it also so looks like a crack in the sediment to just in to the uh, right of the digit. fish. Yeah. And All right. then you <coughs> center it up. All right. All right, Ed, in one moment if you want to go ahead and zoom. Yeah, ready to zoom. And, until the, end, and the vehicle. Yeah. There you go. Go ahead and zoom. Go ahead and zoom in. Okay, I'm just going to come in partial. I'll keep him in frame. That's way so cool. I'm stopping there. Focusing. Focused. Now. And as he drifts out, I'm just going to zoom out, or you yeah. can tilt. You, uh, Follow him around. After this, you should try that? panning and tilting on a few things because. Uh, pan and tilt. Not as about to get uh, hit by a jelly. Oh, I think he just felt the tentacle. Did you see that? Yeah, it's kind of. Oh, creepy eyes. Jostles a little bit. I wonder what that is. I think we're still a ways away from him, so it's kind of hard yeah. to tell. I definitely think it's a some species of shark. But make sure that you watch the video. I don't think we're going to get enough detail from this shot to give us a species ID. No. Yeah. That's true. That's uh, probably enough at this. I don't think we can tell much at this distance, Jessica. All so right, go ahead and out. zoom out then. Okay. Thanks, Ed. You bet. Here's another teaching moment. We're in buttons. So You're that was really cool. I didn't expect to see any vertebrates in this area, given the low oxygen concentration. Yeah, but so step down that was really cool. But one of the one of the cool things about sharks is that they don't you know, have a swim bladder like fish do, and so they can live at these depths without having to worry about. 